got some new cool things you could do to your background images. We have mobile video backgrounds that actually work now, as well as some fancy things you could do to dividers. These are all coming in Elementor version 2.7. The free version, this is not for the pro version, this is the free version, so this is gonna get pushed out to over three million websites in just a few weeks. Right now it's in beta. You can access the beta, I don't recommend it, but you can. I'm gonna show you all of that right now in this video. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, click on that subscribe button. You might also wanna click on the notification bell. I do live streams where you can ask me questions. If you click on that notification bell, you will know when I go live and you can hop on and ask any question that you have. I'll have a link to Elementor down below. Let's just jump into it. So I've actually already started putting this together. So this is a typical section and it's taken up the full screen and I just have two headlines in here little trip trick uh, when you have words on top of images you might want to add a little bit of drop shadow behind those words I'll have a full tutorial on how to create stuff like this but let me show you what's new so if we are in our section and we go right here we click on style and we have this new option right here that says background slideshow this was not there before but it's there now this is gonna be a simple way to add some motion to your website it's not a slider it's not a video so it doesn't have that weight it's just gonna add some nice subtle motion let me show you how this works I'll click on background slideshow and it immediately don't freak out it immediately makes whatever you had in your background disappear so that image I just had is now gone then we click on add images and we get this pop-up right here uh, we can upload some new images or we can choose images from our media library I just went over here to pexels and I typed in Germany and I got some really nice images of Germany I downloaded them and I uploaded them and you can see them here so this is where you're gonna select the images that you want if you accidentally select something and you change your mind you can click where the X is you see that and then it's gonna uncheck it but I want all four of these images then you click on the bottom right it says create gallery what we did is we just created a WordPress gallery. Now what you can do is rearrange your images. So if I wanted this one to show first, I could do that. Whatever order that I want, I can rearrange it right here. I'll click on insert gallery and you're gonna see there it is. Now we have these options right here, uh, right here. So we have the image animation, we have the Ken Burns effect, and we have the infinite loop. So right now you just see it's in a slideshow mode. It's just gonna go from one image to another image and we can set the speed of when that happens. But if I wanted that motion, I just click on the toggle for Ken Burns effect and you see now I'm gonna have this motion. I can choose whether I want it to zoom in or zoom out. That's the in and the out. I really wish they'd have more effects, which is kind of uh, gonna make the image move to maybe the top right or the bottom left or something along those lines but this is what we have to work with now and you can infinite loop it you're probably gonna want to turn that on so once it's done through the four images in this case it'll start over from the top you have speed and the speed of the animation so the autoplay speed is how much time between changing images and then the animation speed is the speed of the Ken Burns. I think it's the Ken Burns, but I was adjusting this and it's not the Ken Burns. I think it's the speed of the transition between the different images. So we have all that there just like that. Now the image animation, uh, which right now is set to fade, there's also the option of sliding. I don't like the sliding, it's a little too jarring. So let me show you, I'm gonna choose slide right and you're gonna see, probably after this you're gonna see the slide right. I don't actually like it at all. See, that's just a little too much for me. Uh, but it's completely up to you what you like and these are the options that we now have available to us for this so let's go ahead and back up so now uh, this is a really nice feature you can also use some of the other options we get in Elementor which would be a background overlay down here so if we wanted to darken it up or change the color or change the feel you can do that as well as your shape dividers and things of that nature so this is brand new feature number one it's kind of amazing this is in the free version of Elementor it is 
if very impressive to me. Okay, so the next option is now when you're playing a background video, you're going to have the option, actually here, let me change this to fade. It's gonna drive me nuts with that slide right. Now you're gonna have the option to have the video that you put in your background play on mobile devices. You didn't have this before because mobile browsers didn't support it and they could have, but it was because of battery drain concerns, they didn't allow it. But now that mobile phones, the batteries are getting better and better, now you're actually able to do that. So to have a little fun, I went to YouTube and I found this video right here, which is a view from above Germany. So we're going with this German theme. I'm actually German, by the way. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna get rid of this slideshow and I'm gonna switch to background video. Another feature that is now gonna be available is you can use YouTube or Vimeo videos. This wasn't the case before. So I'm gonna paste my video in like that. Now here's the thing with video. Uh, if it's not your video, you saw right there, the actual video had Germany and it has these logos here. But what's nice is you actually get to choose a start time. So I can choose a start time of let's say 20, which is 20 seconds in, and it probably is already bypassed where the video puts the text in and their logo in like that. And I could end it before it actually ends in case they have end cards or something like that. So I'll put 30 in there. And there we go. I can go like this and now I've got this beautiful background video going and my text is on top of it. But that's not what's new. What's new is this will also work on a mobile device. Now you can uh, toggle it on for mobile right here. It says play on mobile. So if I go like that, now it should play on a mobile device. So let's go ahead and go into responsive mode and then click on mobile. And there we have it. Um, it's playing right there on the mobile device. So I guess if I toggled this off, it wouldn't be playing on at all. And I would have to put a background fallback image in place of the video. So this is what it would look like with the video. And then I would do that background. Obviously I need to change the size of these fonts uh, for a mobile device. And let's go back to full screen. So we have that as well. I'm glad that they're adding this. I can't begin to tell you how many times I have been asked, how come my video doesn't work on mobile? Uh, but now that is going to be an option. Okay, the last one is kind of a basic one, and this is additional styles are now available for your dividers. And so there's a divider element. If I click on the hamburger icon and I start typing divide, if I spell it correctly, there it is, divider. I can now drag and drop the divider. I'll just put it here at the bottom. And there it is, and you can see I just have this thin white line. Uh, but now, where it says style, we have all of these options. So we have their classic options, and we have patterns right here. And you can choose whatever you want. Let's go uh, curly. And so now you see there's this curly line. It's kind of hard to see because I need to make it white. So I'll click on style, the divider color, I'm gonna change to white. And now you're gonna be able to see it. And there, there I have it. Uh, but I can go here, I can make it not be as wide if I wanted it to be more narrow and then center it, something like that. Um, and then we can also add an element and you know Elementor just added this I new icon library with so many different option choices we can put an icon in the middle of the left or the right very easy. So right here it says add element. So currently it's set to none, but I can add text. So I can click here and see there it is. It puts the word divider. I'll need to change the color of that. Let's do that real quick. I'll change it to text. I'll go white and then there it is. We can make that whatever we want, manipulate the font, add all our typical font styles. But here it is for the icon. Uh, it's right there, the icon's in the middle. Let me go ahead and change that color to white as well. Here's icon, I'm gonna go to white, there it is. And uh, let's um, change the size of that, let's make that big. Okay, so there we go, we've got a big star there. I'm gonna go back to content. And uh, actually here, let me go back to style and let me show you one more thing about the icon, is the positioning. So by default it goes in the center, you can put it to the left, you can put it to the right however you want it. So let's just go to the left right there. And we have some spacing controls to make it go a little further away from the icon. 
Uh, but you have the option to choose your icon. You can just go here, icon library. We have this amazing icon library right here. Uh, you can choose whatever makes sense to you for what you're trying to do. And there's a lot of creative things that you can do. Uh, how about teeth? Because when you go to Germany, you're probably going to eat some great schnitzel and drink some great beer. Uh, so there we have it just like that. Uh, and there we have it um, right there. And I don't know where that came. Oh, that was the video. That's the video with the big German back there. All right, and so now you can do this with your dividers. Now, they do have a full announcement post right here on GitHub. It's kind of techy, um, and it talks about the different features that are added. I just covered them all. So here's the background slideshow. You can see I was biting their style, trying to copy them right here. Uh, and then they talk about the Vimeo as a background. So now you can use your Vimeo link and uh, allowing the background video to play on mobile and improved dividers. So you saw that. Now they do a much better job than I did with the dividers. You can see some really creative uses for quotes. Uh, it's really nice what they are doing here with that. Uh, that would probably be good to have a full tutorial of all the things that you could do with this new divider. But there's also these under the hood improvements. And so let me zoom this in. It's actually kind of funny. So there's a lot of under the hood things that they're doing to prepare for future releases. And it says they're going to be gradually releasing major, major, not minor, major infrastructure improvements, which are going to allow them to do more with Elementor and make it more stable. Um, and then it gets into some techie stuff about unification of multiple libraries, yada, yada, yada. This stuff's not that exciting, but this is actually kind of funny. So they want you to test something right here. And it says these features require a sanity test for the entire system. And you know what? Sometimes in life, you just need a sanity test yourself. So anyways, these are the new features coming to Elementor version 2.7, the free version, not the pro version, the free version. Usually a pro update comes out a few days after, actually not a few days, a few weeks after the free version has their update. One of the things I've been hoping for is global styling for the pro version. Uh, I don't know if that's going to come at 2.7. I hope that it is. Marching on to version 3, that should be a big one. So anyways, if you don't have the pro version, I have a link down below or just go to wpcrafter.com slash Elementor. I have a bonus course I like to give to people when they buy that uh, where I teach people my design hacking techniques on how to pretty much create anything you want with Elementor. Information on that is down below. Hey. What do you want to see in Elementor, the free version, and what do you want to see in Elementor Pro version 2.7? Go ahead and answer that down below. I'll have a dedicated tutorial to these various features coming out as soon as it's final. Right now, I noticed a few bugs in it, so it's not yet ready for prime time. But once it is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a few videos on that. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, share it out with some friends. I don't know. Ask a comment down below. But remember to subscribe, subscribe, click on that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. 